US futures are trading higher in a pre-market session. So even though the gains are not substantial, but it gives an indication of a possible recovery in the intraday session, giving the flat market or the flat trading session we had yesterday. All is retracing a little bit after, you know, the many days he's been bullish, probably because OPEC um, reduced the outlook for the oil rebound in 2021. Um, we'll see how it does trade intraday, even though yesterday we had a, a very um, bullish market mover um, from the EIA, um, which released a very, very big draw surprise into last week production. This will be interesting for the energy sector, especially for the small mid cap, uh, which are usually very volatile in response to um, the crude oil price. On the crypto world, they are rebouncing pretty much all of them, you know, Bitcoin gaining 3.8%, Ethereum 3.35% and Ripple 4%. Bitcoin Cash is the biggest uh, gainer in this pre-market session with an 871% gain for the pre-market session. Cryptocurrencies have been really bullish um, this week following the big investment of Tesla into Bitcoin and as we can expect um, more other companies can follow the same path as Tesla did. So we're going to see how the trading uh, goes for the cryptocurrencies for the end of this week. On the economic indicators, we have the initial jobless claims. That will be something that the market will be looking at, definitely, because the job market gave sign of recovery last week, a little bit, I mean, small recovery last week when we had the uh, uh, job openings, making a little bit of surprise based on what the market was expecting. So this will definitely either confirm the recovery path of the labor market, or if not, they, this can potentially put the market um, in a downtrend path. This number will also be a very important parameter into, you know, the discussion between the lawmakers at Washington, you know, when it comes to um, the Biden plan, especially with the stimulus checks. So as discussions continue, this will definitely give maybe an incentive from one side in order to push with the plan they are proposing. Earnings season continue with um, some of the big U.S. companies releasing the, uh, the earnings today, starting with Walt Disney, PepsiCo, AstraZeneca, you know, the giant biotech pharma company. It's going to be interesting to see how they manage to navigate the, the markets and their financials um, since they are were part of the COVID-19 uh, vaccine race. As always, whatever it's happening in pre-market session, it doesn't necessarily transpire into what the actual intraday session will look like. So pay attention, guys, and be careful as you plan ahead for your trading strategies.